So, uh, hello. Today I want you to show how to make uh, Legion slides uh, in his uh, chest and uh, on his head. Uh, it uh, won't doing the light. Uh, it will just uh, be a texture. So I really don't know how to do the light. It will emit in the 3D space. So uh, I won't doing that. I will show you just how to texture it through the specular map. So. Let's get started. Uh, okay, I already said his textures and the bitmaps and everything. So, uh, okay, now what we will open is uh, the LGNA spec. So it's a uh, pinky. It looks like this, uh, and the uh, legion can be found in uh, BOD uh, get one uh, six hundred core. So uh, now we will open this and again add map and RGB tint. Connect it to that, uh, and the RGB tint connects to the specular level and uh, to the self illumination. So uh, and uh, go back to the specular what we added and set everything to uh, to the alpha. So. I mean uh, mono channel output set to alpha, RGB channel output set to alpha as gray and uh, alpha source set to image alpha. You need to have uh, these three settings set to alpha or it won't work so okay we have this. Now we can go to our RGB I will make his, uh, his lights now I will start with red so okay and go to the standard and make sure you have ambient diffuse and specular white and self illumination color black uh also what i what i change is nothing so you should now try to render it uh, as you can see there's nothing you can see because you can see uh, the specular map uh, change only when you have rendered the image so you can see now it's uh, red I can change color to any so uh, we'll try blue uh, okay and uh, you can do this uh, pretty much with uh, every texture or or there so same way is with it is with his head so you can add his head and it will make only the little light uh, changing the color so uh, really I don't know how to make a 3d light attached to this 3d model uh, that will emit uh, the light in the 3d space uh, to uh, Colleagues with uh, everything else in the 3D, so I'm not showing you that. So, this is uh, the quick way how to make uh, this specular map to work with his body because it this looks pretty boring. So, okay, this was some quick tutorial. Thanks, okay. <laughs> so, and I want you to tell how to make uh, good eyes. So I start with the drills. Uh, if you render this out, I, will, I think I will zoom zoom in. No, I won't. So, uh, if you can see, it's pretty good with his eye, uh, the lens flare or something. It looks good. So I will bring him and find his eye. It's connected to the glossness, and uh, I put the glossness on five only, and maybe ten is good. Uh, I would uh, go to the max 15, not much more because it's bad and the specular level is something here on the top and the specular level here is the 600 and the glossness is 100. So uh, you can see it looks pretty good uh, effect on his eye. Uh, if you change this to around, uh, I don't know, maybe 200. You will see it's not that shiny uh, also we can add about uh, 800 so it will look pretty good it's really bright so we can see that his eyes are really glowing from the light 
and uh, also this glossiness is not good with uh, higher than 10 because maybe I will show you 90 it looks so uh, if I render this it looks <laughs> really strange like some alien so this is with the eyes so and I want to tell you something uh, if you have uh, problems with uh, some models I mean when you uh, sometimes load the model and it's damaged uh, so I would add you some tips so if it don't work good with his head which is head so uh, with her head uh, I will tell you uh, how to do it better so we'll run again max script and import Ashley's head uh, my Ashley is over here somewhere so uh, Ashley and um, when it don't work good uh, you need to import uh, first uh, something else uh, I mean if you have the body so I will now import her head it's there and now I will import her hair so you can see it messed with her eyes it uh, looks pretty weird so I will try to texture it so you can see it so you can see she has some weird eyes oh, I will try to zoom it so this is really not her eyes so if you load it like this so delete it and uh, import it in another uh, uh, I mean don't uh, import it in this order so you will try with the hair first and then import her head uh, and you can see this don't mask her eyes so if you have some problem with the model like this uh, try to import it in different order it uh, it may look better so this was my few tips for the modeling so so uh, now what I want you to show is uh, adding something to the skin so everybody with skin should have a bit uh, uh, specular level so I will add the specular level and uh, make it uh, specular level around 5 it should add a bit uh, more realistic uh, lightning I, I sold that so don't blame me uh, it should look a bit better I'm, I'm not sure you can see that but you can mess with that so okay uh, that doesn't want I wanted to show you something else so I will start with that so I will now show you the easy way how to retexture re the her her armor. So you need to find her armor in the textures and open in, in Photoshop or something which you have any program that can do this. Select the magic band or uh, what it's called. I um, I don't know. So oh I again you can also do this manually if you want to be very precise. Uh, okay, so I will stay with this, maybe this a bit, and okay, okay. So now, what we will do when we have selected our parts is go to the image adjustments and replace color. So now you need to pick this, the first uh, tool, and uh, click. Uh, what we selected so we have this and uh, here is the fuzziness you should have this in 200 so uh, now you will find the color what you want so I don't know I think Ashley like pink so we'll stick to this and lower this a bit uh, because when it's too bright you can see the shadows are are really bright and it's it don't look realistic when it's on the model so we will make it and also uh, this looks like a digital camo or something I, I know it's a bit more too much pixel so we'll go with I think this is really good 
so we'll stay with this and press uh, file and save this as the pinky with double epsilon because I made it earlier so save it as 32 bits and we can exit uh, now what we'll do is go to the armor and replace with our texture so pinky is here so now she have nice stylish armor also you can mess with that so you have a better result than I have you can really mess with this as you can see I just selected one of the fingers and <laughs> so also it looks a bit too dark I, I mean it's, it looks like it's dirty or something so you need to really pixelize pixel by pixel if you want the details but when we will render this it looks pretty good it's acceptable so this is a few tricks what I wanted to show you so I hope you liked it and uh, thanks thanks for watching